Down. Let me out. Else. to the end. We need to find it. Hold that. Get burned, I tell ya. Come on, then. You're going nowhere. I've a clear shot.
Ah, Connor! Sit, sit! How are you, Jacob? Missing the beer gardens back home, but I'm well. How did you arrive in the colonies? Like most other men like me, the army. I was a Hessian for a time. It was a good job while I had it. I only felt it was time for something different once I arrived. Not long after, I am meeting you, so it seems my feeling was useful, no? Certainly. I am hoping to send for my family when the time is right. But we are fighting a war of our own, and I will not put them at risk. Hopefully things will die down soon. No rush, Connor. I am in their hearts, and they are in mine. I received a letter from home. What news? My son is the strongest boy in our village. Standing tall and proud. My heart grows heavy for them now. And my patience wanes for bringing them across the ocean. I have sent money for passage, war or no war. We will keep them safe from the fighting when they arrive. I am having no doubts about this. My worry is now of the crossing itself. Many miles overland to a port in France. There they must be purchasing safe passage aboard a ship coming to the colonies. Then they must brave the voyage itself. Many risks. Your son can lead them. You said yourself he is strong and capable. My son? Ha! <laughs> no matter how strong he grows, he will never be as strong as my wife. Wilhelmina is the most able person I have ever met. Else I would not have left them. It is more matters of fortune that trouble me. Storms, pirates. These are things none can control. But I am sure if pirates try and take their ship, Wilhelmina and your boy will make the brigands rue their decision. Yes. Yes, you're right. Thirsty, I take it? What's wrong with taking a draw for the two when the time's right? Nothing, Jamie. Nothing. Then why don't you join me then? Not right now. Maybe later. I suppose you got important business to attend to. I understand. Don't worry about me, though. I can handle my booze. If you need me, I'll be there, Connor.
Hey, Connor. Taking it easy today? Things got a little out of hand the last time you saw me. Keeping an even keel. Good. Where are you from? Here. Born and raised, but I'm a mutt, if that's what you're really asking. I think I even got a little of the Far East in my blood. That's what my father said, wherever that bastard got off to. What about your mother? She's down south. Haven't seen her in five years or so. She works on a plantation, keeping care of the slaves. <laughs> slaves. That's why I left. Can't support that business. Owning a human isn't something any man should do. She doesn't agree, so I leave her to it. I make my life up here now. I'm an assassin. This is my family. How'd you do, Connor? I am all right. And you? It's nice to be a part of something. Until now, I was sort of drifting about the neighborhood, getting irate when I saw things I thought unjust. Sometimes I'd intervene. Other times, I would come here. Now, I feel like all my energy's pointed at something. I am grateful to have your help. How did you come to be... you? <laughs> Funny question, but I get your meaning. I was an orphan. Pretty common around the ports with all the sailors and whores mucking about. I wanted to be out on my own, so I did what I had to do. That's when I decided to pretend to be a boy. That worked for a time, until nature decided otherwise and it just became a bad joke. Folks around the Bora still called me Dobby, but the old codgers started leering and getting fresh. That's when I got tough. Took a good many shots to the face before I learned to defend myself properly. But now I dare any man to come at me. They learn their price quick. Hello, Dobby. Connor, 
You look well. I have been better. Do you ever sleep? I really don't know how you do it. I try not to think about it. A strong man. Stronger than any I've ever met. How is it a man like you has no wife? I do not have the time to give a woman what she deserves. Perhaps when all this is over, I will be able to settle and have a family. I hope. Oh, of all the lecherous and deceitful men out there who are fathers, you'd be a godsend. But I suppose that's how it is. The good ones are too busy for it, and the louts have nothing better to do. In any case, if you ever think it's time, make sure I get the first crack. Hmm. I promise. You do not partake? Uh, no, sir. I need to stay sharp in case you call upon my rifle. Spirits do me in right quick. Drank half a flask of rum out in the bush with my brothers a few years back. Went for a run in the buff before I found myself rolling around in deer scat being sick all over. I don't want to go there again, no thank you. Smart choice, given the circumstances. I want to fight like you someday. You have everything it takes to be a great assassin. And that means something coming from you. Where did you learn to shoot like you do? Ranging with my dad and brothers in Virginia country. My family's been surveying and prospecting out there since my grandpappy. How did you end up here? I'm the youngest of four brothers. I was always going to be a runner-up with them. So I set off alone to do my own business. Out west of Ohio's territory that no man of the colonies ever trodden. I figured I could find contracts out of New York. Then the war started. And you sided with the Patriots? Not really. My family's for the king. I just don't like seeing boys forced to fight against their will is all. But I know that I want to be free. For all to be free. If that means I'm a patriot, I guess I am. You are an assassin. Nothing else. That I am. I'm proud of it. But any good score must inquire.